All right guys, this is my 2008 Triumph Bonneville T100. Uh, pink color green, 865cc's. Give you guys a look at the uh, tech and everything on it. Right now it's got 34,224 miles on it. Yeah, let's go around the bike and show some things on there. Um, so you guys have a better look at the bike in this video along with I'm going to start it up so you guys see how it runs on a cold engine I'll we'll start from the front with the, the wheels rims and everything as you can see all the way around no gouges from any tire changes or anything like that the only thing on the front wheels here right here in the rims um, it's like some sort of build up or something from the previous owner I don't exactly know what it is I tried cleaning it myself, but I'm not exactly sure. But and a little bit of a paint chip right there. That's with the front wheel. Tank, as I say, was a green color um, with a kind of whitish paint. But I don't know if you guys can see this right here. It's not really scratches. I don't know. It's some sort of just long marks. Might be able to see it here in the video, but it's only on this part of the entire tank um, but other than that paint and tank looks, looks great and then you have your chrome covers your spark cover and your uh, engine cover there all good no scratches and along with your pipes the pipes on both sides uh, very good chrome no chips no scratches nothing on it pretty kept in good condition. Uh, on the top of both of the um, shocks here there's like some sort of build up just like in the front over by the uh, by the rim. It's got like a build up of I don't know what it is. It's, it's the same thing on the upside but it's only on the top. The rest of it's fine but only on the top here does it build up for some weird reason. I don't know why. Uh, rear, rear, rear tire is uh, brand new. As you can see you can still see the, the Dimple down, so uh, this tire has about 500 miles on. So this is this is a brand new, brand new tire. Um, the seat, very good. Um, besides having a sore butt after riding for like an hour, but that's your traditional Bonneville seat. It hurts after a little bit. Paint's good in the back, along with the chrome. As you can see, chrome's looking good. Um, there's chrome on the other side with these pipes. Again, the buildup, as you can see. Again, it's just on the top part for some reason. Your battery covers and everything, and then along with your chrome on your engine cover on this side, looking good. Everything's good to go. Um, when I bought this, it had a fuel filter in here, a different fuel filter uh, that was had a buildup of fuel sediment. So I put a, a new uh, fuel filter in there that connects to the pedcocks here. Um, and this is a carbureted version. This is the last year they had the carbureted versions of the. Um, of the Bonnevilles. So um, your headers, um, these haven't been replaced, I believe these are stock. Um, as you can see, uh, after 30,000 miles, they're going to look like that. Um, the chrome up top here is good. We want the light, the headlight, and your, your blinkers. Now the only thing is, the only rust you can really see on here is on the back it's not really rust, it's just like chipping of the chrome right here and down here. Really. And that's on the back of the mirrors. Let me walk around one more time here, show you guys a little bit more of it. Before I go and turn on, show you guys the blinkers work and everything, lights work, along with uh, starting up the engine. And also with uh, with here, you're always gonna with, with the Bonnevilles, you're always gonna have that paint go away here, chipping away at it because of the keys rubbing against it when you're riding. I don't know why they put the ignition there, but they do. Uh, let's put the down here just to show you guys. Left blinker. All right. 
right blinker and you can see the headlight it's on half and then full make sure you also the point that like I said there so all the electronics work up top here even even the horn right um, and I'll start up here in a second to show you guys exactly uh, how it starts up um, very cold engine as you can tell very cold I'm about to start it up here in a second go ahead and put the fuel on and the, and the um, uh, as I said this is a carburetors so the choke I have closed right now you can turn it on it's been a little cooler today well even though it's Florida's time or it's summer in Florida um, but I'm gonna keep the choke off to sort of show you guys that it does start up here we go and that's without the choke uh, And unlike most bikes, the bottom feels pretty quiet because of those silencers. But. Right. I'll bring the camera up close to the engine there so you guys can hear it a little bit better. And this engine recently just had a valve adjustment about 500 miles ago. So valve, valve adjustment's just been done. Uh, rear tire replaced, oil changed recently, so um, pretty kept up. Again, pretty good bike. Wish I didn't have to get rid of it, but... Um, Make it away for a family that we have. Moving. So again, this is your 2008 Triumph Bonneville T100. It's got just over 34,000 miles on it. If interested, contact me. All right, see you guys.